Hello Taurus, hello my bull gang, Elsie here to do a, a bonus read for you my friends. Anytime I come back after the first of the week, it's always a bonus read for you my friends. I'm just keeping up with you and your voracious appetite. Let's take a look at some tarot for you. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and Jupiter. Let's talk about Taurus please. Let's talk about Taurus energy. Taurus, if you're interested in a private read, you know what to do. Look below this video. You'll find the, the link that says more. When you click that, you will find a link to Wizio. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Tell me about Taurus, please. We have the Seven of Cups, Taurus. Why are we starting with the Seven of Cups? We have the Nine of Swords. You're worrying about something. It's overwhelming worry. Tell me why. You're worrying. It's overwhelming. And it's keeping you from sleep here. My dear Empress. Feminine or masculine, the Empress is Taurus and Libra energy. Those are the Venusian signs, the signs, the Venus signs, right? Um, the Empress is, of course, the queen of all queens, right? This is the person who is um, balanced, very much in touch with themselves, in touch with the universe. And um, it's all about love. Feels like there is something that's bothering you here. Tell me more about Taurus, please. We have the Page of Pentacles. Could be a child. Some of you could be worried about an Earth child. <laughs> um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Could also be for some of you about something that's that is that you feel that you know in your gut is about to come to fruition. It's like the page of coins is, is what you've been dreaming about or what you've been worrying about or the thing that you've been overly emotional about. It's like there is this new beginning here and it's a, it's a huge achievement for you. It's a huge milestone that I feel you've been looking forward to for a while. We've got Scorpio, Taurus, Aquarius, Leo energy here. Libra and Taurus. We've got the Knight of Swords, so it's coming really quickly. And I think that that's why you can't sleep. It's like you feel that it's already here or that it's arriving soon and you can't sleep. It's like a, it's something to do with emotions here though. It's something that's making you feel overly emotional. Sorry, just threw a card. Tell me about the page of coins. Why are you worrying about the page of coins, please? Why is Taurus worried about the page of coins? It's something to do with your 3D world. Could also for some of you be something to do with a child. Tell me what's coming up here. What's the worry about? It's like the worry is that you're hoping that you are not... Hmm. It's like the, the seven of, of, of cups can also be the rosy colored glasses. So I feel that your worry is, is that you're worried that maybe... It's like you know in your gut something's coming, but you're you're kind of defiant of that. It feels like you, you're you thinking, but Elsie, what if I have the rosy colored glasses on? What if I have been hoping and waiting and wishing and hoping and waiting and manifesting and, and it's not going to arrive? I feel like whatever it is that's been worrying you, I feel is is going, you're going to be able to settle. You're going to be able to settle down. It's going to be solid. It's going to be okay. Like when the King of Pentacles shows up, the King of Pentacles is the one who is the supporter, right? The one who wants to who wants to make all the money, put the money in the bank. They, they want to make sure you have a comfortable place to live. Do you know what I mean? And so I want to say it's going to be okay. Whatever it is that you're worried about in your pentacle world, it's going to be okay. It could be money. It could be a child. It could be your house. It's whatever is your pentacles. Could be the bank account. Maybe you're worried about money here, Taurus. We have the nine of wands. It almost feels like something here has brought you to your knees. It's like you had to hit rock bottom first or it brought you whatever it is, these 
this nine of swords and the nine of wands has brought you to your knees. You need it to be over. You need this weight to be over here. Yeah, it's like we've got uh, faith, which is the hierophant, which is you. <clears throat> and we have the nine of wands. It feels like you're tired of being resilient, Taurus. As it pertains to your finances, you're tired of finally getting money in the bank and then all of a sudden the car dies. Or you finally get money in the bank and then all of a sudden a bill shows up that you that was twice as big as you thought it was going to be. It's like you can't really get ahead. That's what it feels like here. And that's what it feels like the worry is. And you're tired of feeling resilient, having to be resilient, which is the nine of wands. Because I want to say that you're right around the corner from everything becoming much better than it was but I feel like you're still sort of pulling out of this old vibration of things going sideways for you and you're tired of having to having to have shit bring you to your knees before it gets better like what's with that right I want to say this is a lesson you're supposed to be learning because the Hierophant is here. And when the Hierophant shows up, it's like a lesson. You're being held to a higher a higher calling or a higher regard. And that's why this, this mountain that you're climbing seems insurmountable. It seems like it's such a hard way to climb a mountain. What is going on here? That's what it feels like. But I, I want to say that, and, and I'm not saying it in a nefarious way. It feels like with the Hierophant showing up here, that this is all shaping you into being who you're supposed to be. It's like for some reason you need to learn all of these lessons, something you need to learn the 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 resiliency of it's it's like it's like when your money is impacted um if it's money that you're worrying about it feels like that the universe then says to you what are you going to do now? Because a test of a person is how they're going to react or respond when the chips are down, right? When things are going really hard with the finances or your job isn't going well or the marriage is off track or whatever it is, that really is the worth of a person, how you're going to deal with it. And I really feel like the universe keeps serving you up with these lessons in the 3D here that are really hard for you, but you keep being resilient regardless. But these are our lessons here. Tell me more about this. It's, it's uh, lessons that are bringing you into your karmic balance here. It's almost as if the, it's like if you don't know what the dark is, Taurus, you will not never be able to appreciate the light. And I, I feel like that's, that's what's going on here. <laughs> as I say that, the moon pops up. So it feels like you are going to get karmic justice in whatever the moon has been dishing up. Things you can't see. Things are closer than they appear. Things aren't as they appear, Taurus. Things are going, are about to get much better here. Here, we have the three of pentacles in the reverse. Hmm. I want to say that you, you are exhausted. You're exhausted from putting the work in by yourself, carrying it all by yourself. It's made you shut off and shut down. It's like I feel like you're not really talking to people about it. You're harboring it in the moon energy. It feels like you, you don't have a partnership here. So it's like you're carrying it all alone and it's really heavy. And I'm really sorry that's going on for you. I want to say with the world card here, it tells me that all of this, I want to say with the nine of wands for sure that, you know, you're, the finish line is around the corner, my friend. You'll be able to drop these burdens and things are about to get better because you hit a milestone here. And it might be in your growth because the Empress is here. You may have needed all of this to turn into the Empress. You may have needed the lessons of the King or Queen of uh, uh, Pentacles in order to be able to move ahead. So maybe the, the lesson is you need to get your spending under control or you need to stop... You need to stop buying things that you can't afford. You need to get your credit cards under control. It feels like you're exhausted from trying to work so hard. You need to rest. And the only way that you can rest is by getting the financial stuff or the, and it doesn't even have to be money. It could just be the pentacle world, period. Your job, your home, your car, your children. It feels like something needs to give here because you're exhausted. But I feel like you're about to, you're about to come across some sort of a, an achievement or a milestone here. Tell me what that is for the Empress, please. You're going to be able to drop your burdens, right? There's the nine, there's the ten. Now you're on your way. As I said, it was just around the corner for you to be able to be on your way here. And when the ten of wands shows up, 
We know that the Ace is coming right away after that. You are able to drop your burdens and close the door on something or someone who keeps continually pulling themselves back into your life. The Page of Wands is here. For some of you, it could be a child. It doesn't have to be. We do have two pages here. It could be kid, one in fire, one in, in earth. But um, it feels like there is somebody here who keeps coming back around and contacting you and is causing burdens for you. Um, the Page of Wands is like somebody who's like fun and flirty. There's an age difference here. Or someone's acting really immature. It's like they're not really stepping forward for you, but they keep interjecting themselves, like injecting themselves back into your life. And I feel like this is something that you're ready to close the door on here. And we've got the Six of Wands. This is the finish line. So it, it does feel like you are going to finish things up with this person. There's someone who has a, a big age difference with you. For some of you, it's a child who, who um, I feel has gone on their own path and their own path is kind of wild. I want to say that maybe it's time for you to to shut the door on that for now and let this person live their life. For others of you, I feel like it is a person, a person who's romantically connected to you that just won't leave you alone. Someone who keeps coming back and creating burdens for you. I feel like this is just about ready to be over, though, because the Six of Wands is victory. It's also crossing the finish line. It's people cheering you on as you get the things that you've been working really hard toward here. Tell me about the Empress, please. We have the Eight of Cups. You're just completely pulling away emotionally from this person. What I want to say is, Taurus, you got to stop answering the texts. You have to stop answering them. It feels like somebody here has your heart. They, You have feelings for them still, and you keep allowing them to contact you. You haven't, you haven't um, told them not to contact you. It's like you just can't bring yourself to do it because of the page of wands. And so I want to say that either this is a child, you can't bring yourself to shut down or shut off, shut this person off or block them, or they are someone who is that you have your heart space connected to. They could be someone that you used to be in love with or someone that you have really big feelings for, but you know that they're not good for you. They could be a, um, a, a Scorpio Pisces, nope, sorry, Scorpio Taurus Aquarius Leo. Could be a Libra, could be a Leo. Yeah, could be Libra. Libra's over here. We've got Pisces and Cancer. We've got Taurus here. Um, so it does feel like you are, you're going to have to finally cross this finish line where you disconnect from this person because they're never leaving you alone, Taurus. And if they don't leave you alone and don't get out of your energy, it's like you can't move along, right? The Seven of Swords is what's concealed is the Eight of Cups. What's being concealed is the Eight of Cups. It's like what you don't realize or what you don't see is that you must pull away emotionally from this person in order to be able to have any sort of new beginning here. You need to finally heal this. Like the Eight of Pentacles is about you, right? It's about you learning your self-mastery. There's five pentacles here. And... Um, three, four, and five, but there are plans for more. You can see the plans that are here, right? Somebody is is really being careful about how they move forward here. So I want to say the five of pentacles, uh, uh, it's time for you to pull away from this situation. It's almost over here. And I feel like you're coming up with a new plan um, about how you're going to heal yourself or how you're going to practice your self-mastery once this comes to the surface. Because I feel like what this person doesn't know about you, Taurus, is when you're done, you're done. We, as Tauruses, I'm a Taurus son as well, we give people so many chances because we're so loyal. This can go on for literal years, right? Before we actually put a stop to it. Why? Because that's who we are. We're loyal, right? We have um, the Seven of Cups here. Tell me about the Seven of Cups, please, because it does feel like some overwhelm here. Uh, because there is going to have to be some sort of a conversation, I think. And it's going to have to be some harsh words. We've got the King of Cups. We've got the Wheel of Fortune. And we have the Hermit. I really do feel you're blocking your own way. By keeping the rosy colored glasses on and not cutting this person out, Taurus, you're really... Um, blocking your own way. I feel like you've been sitting in the hermit mode waiting to change, waiting for change to come, waiting for something to change, waiting for some sort of um, some sort of really deep emotional, protective, loving person to come along. And this is not this person. This person gives you no stability. They keep coming into your life to take what they want and then they go. 
but I feel like um, the Wheel of Fortune is here, which tells me that fortunate change is here. And as you sit in hermit mode, I do believe that things are changing. That once you get a hold of this situation and take off the rosy colored glasses and realize that you're worth more than the Page of Wands, that's when the King of Cups arrives. When you take off the rosy colored glasses, you're able to see the King of Cups. It also tells me that you probably have really big love for this other person that you know is not good for you and doesn't give you anything. They don't give you anything. They give you the seven of wands, six and one wand from the page is seven. They make you feel defensive. They make you feel burdened. Um, we've got Virgo energy here. I feel like what's changing is your mind and your heart space. I feel like you've realized that it's got to be about you, Taurus. It can't be about them any longer. Because when you control, you know, when you control the situation and you decide to keep people in your energy, you don't have room for new energy. So in order to get this new energy, you need to, to let go of that energy. Now, this could be a job. This could be a job or an old house or maybe your house poor because your rent is too much, your mortgage is too high and, you know, you want to keep up with the Joneses. It could be something like that you need to let go of. It's, it, it's a door that you need to close in order to be able to come to this achievement here. Tell me about the um, Knight of Swords, please. Yeah, so it's uh, the Six of Cups, the Seven of Coins. You've been waiting for a love like this. You've been waiting for a love like this, Taurus, and the only way that you're going to get it is when you finally shut the door on this other person. And um, I don't know who it is. Could be a person, could be a job. Take it as it resonates, but it feels like you got something to say. The Knight of Swords is here. What's coming really quickly here is the lovers. Once you close this door, this comes in really quickly here. This lover who is a soulmate, a very deep, deep soulmate here. This is going to be the easiest relationship you've ever had because that's what soulmate relationships are about. Unless you end up bumping into a soulmate who's not healed, it feels like this one is emotionally available. This person feels deeply they're willing to show you their feelings. Maybe not at first because the King of Cups is Scorpio, also Pisces or Cancer, but is keeping everything under the surface until I know it's safe to come out. So I feel like this person is someone who is your soulmate. We do have the lovers. Um, we do have the Six of Cups and we have the Seven of Pentacles. You've been waiting forever and I feel like it's, it's like hot on your trail here. It feels like this is coming in right away, but it's up to you to get rid of this first. There it is. It's coming quickly. The victory is here. We just got to get our crap together, right? We got two horses that are very different, the dark horse and the light horse. Somebody's got to get their crap together, and it is the emperor. There we go. There it is. The emperor's coming at you is the king of cups. This is the one who has the deep love for you, the one who's going to show up, and you're not going to have to chase them. They're going to be the ones who the one who pursues you because they are the conqueror, the one who is the the person who steps out in front of everybody to make the best decision for all involved. I feel like you do have um, possibly someone who is a Cancer or an Aries on the way, uh, possibly someone who's Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer. We do have Aquarius here. Um, you could have um, this person here that you're dealing with could be an Aquarius. Uh, this person could be the one who's breaking your heart and that you're trying to heal from. And I do believe that you had really big feelings for this person, but it's time to... It's time to just talk to this person. Either talk to them and say, look, we can't do this anymore. It's not going to work out for us. You give me no stability. Or it's time to just block them and go on your way. It's up to you. It's always up to you, my friend. You always have your agency. I'm going to go for now. Thank you so much for coming here and watching this bonus read, Taurus. I'll be back because I'm always back. Love you guys. Bye-bye.